Hi, I'm Dr. Diane of Dr. Diane's Adventures in Learning, and I have recently been working on a project where I'm looking at fairy tale STEM and how to connect it to the next gen standards, particularly looking at the engineering and design process. During my research, I discovered this wonderful book, Goldilocks and the Three Engineers. It's written by Sue Fleiss, and the pictures are by Petros Bouillabasis. I encourage you to go to your local library or your local bookstore to get your very own copy of this book. I wanted to share it with you today so that we could talk a little bit about the kinds of questions you might ask as you were reading it. So let's go ahead and explore. Goldilocks and the Three Engineers. And if you check out those end pages, I love them because they give you different kinds of tools that you might use as a maker or an engineer. What kinds of things do you notice? And check out the um, invention right here on the opening page. What do you think that might be used for? How would you improve that? In a tiny bungalow, there lived a clever thinker. Young Goldilocks invented things. She'd make and craft and tinker. Gadgets that could zip your coat and tie your tennis shoes tools that help you seek and find whatever you might lose. But Goldilocks was in a rut. She had inventor's block. I have no inspiration left. I need to take a walk. So off she goes. In the meantime, three smart bears all worked in preparation for one delicious feast before their winter hibernation. And if you look at the bears, what do you notice? They've invented some different machines too. They're getting the berries off the trees using what looks kind of like a vacuum. There's one that looks like it's mowing or picking them. Baby bears got a net up above. So I wonder if they create things too. On that hill, said Papa Bear, the honey is the best. When we get there, Mama yawned, we'll eat and then we'll rest. When they finished up their meal, they spied a bungalow. We could spend the winter there. It's sheltered from the snow. Whose house is that? That's interesting. That's different from the way we normally hear the story, isn't it? No one's home, said Mama Bear and opened up the door. The room was full of strange devices, widgets, tools, and more. Look at this, said Papa Bear, a chair made just for you. It feeds you and it wipes your mouth and reads you stories too. Oh my goodness, Mama said, a porridge stirring bowl. And this bed rocks you right to sleep, all with remote control. Looks like Goldilocks has been busy. Baby Bear climbed in the chair. I wish it had some tires. So Papa added four small wheels with nuts and bolts and pliers. Mama put some porridge on. It's over stirred and runny. This concoction simply needs a touch of golden honey. And there she is, they're doing some tinkering and she's adding the honey into it. We can't just stay, said Papa Bear. It really isn't right. But now it's dark, said Baby Bear. So maybe just tonight? They crawled in bed and turned it on. It rocked them all about, but then it sped up, swung too fast and flipped the bears right out. Baby Bear fixed the engine block, replaced the gears that burned, and soon the bears were fast asleep. Then Goldilocks returned. What do you think she's going to say when she sees the changes they've made to her inventions? How would you feel if somebody helped change your inventions? Who's been reading in my chair? And now it rolls around? I'll admit that makes more sense and covers lots more ground. Who's been eating porridge here? It's creamier somehow. Oh, there's honey in the mix. It tastes much better now. Goldilocks heard snoring sounds and followed cautiously. 
who's that sleeping in my bed and staring back at me? Yikes, the bears all cried at once. We know how this appears. We truly couldn't help ourselves. We're three bear engineers. What do you think's gonna happen next? Let's find out. The three bears then explained themselves. We hope you'll understand. For as you know, experiments don't always go as planned. You've improved my projects here and made them much more fun. Proving that four brains by far is better than just one. Perhaps what I was looking for was not more inspiration, but engineers to team with me and bring their inspiration. Goldilocks and these three bears exchanged ideas all night. Their teamwork triumphed in the end and things turned out just right. I wonder what they're creating now. Soon the three bears had to leave. We'll meet up in the spring. And when we do, said Goldilocks, we'll make the next big thing. So look, they spent the night making a way for the bears to get off to their hibernation, carrying all of their food with them. And that's the end. So what would you do if somebody wanted to collaborate with you? Would you take the best ideas and work together to critically problem solve? What's a time that you've done that? That's one way that we can look at the engineering and design process. We ask questions, we do research to try to figure things out, we build a prototype, but then there's a point where we need to share our designs, get feedback, and then do the work we need to do to make it even better. And that's the part that Goldilocks and the three engineers covers. Thanks for reading with me today.